What are you talking about? <laughs> get myself to be motivated again. Watching one of those ads on like Pornhub. Dude, show me your cum, dude, show me your cum. I was scared. I'm always scared. This is gonna take a right turn. And I'm like squatted like a frog and I shit on those. And Just on the bottom right. Like this little guy. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. All right. But yeah. Um, All right. Rolling. <clears throat> All right, hey guys, uh, this is Foldable Cues, episode two. We're with uh, pranking legend Andrew Hales here. We're in uh, Nashville. Um, we're at his place right now. What's going on? Hey, man. How you doing? Thanks for coming from Canada. Yeah, man. Yeah. A, a ca car? Car. 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 How do you say it? Car. 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 That's you. Car. No, you're car. No, I'm car. Car? Oh yeah, can you get a gun in Canada? Well yeah, the last couple of months I've been I've been a little MIA from YouTube. Um I got uh got a job at Taco Bell <laughs> a couple months ago and that's just been really easy to it's a really <coughs> easy side hustle. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> While I figure out, uh, just I don't know. YouTube, it's like it, it's all it take, it's taxing. It takes a lot of mental energy, and I've just been kind of lazy. Mm -hmm. um, and it, it's just been really cold. I just I just have excuses, really. I've just been lazy, and well, there's also those the the take, supplements. That yeah, you're yeah. Telling I've been me taking about. the tell them about the kratom, which is this this like thing no one knows about. This drug you can get it. Vape shops makes me lazy. And it's kind of like a painkiller. They they kind of treat it like I mean, on Reddit. A lot of like people getting off painkillers will use kratom to <clears throat> to taper off. So it's like the next step down. Yeah, I just bought it at a gas station like a couple of years ago. It, and it was some cringy brand called like Relax Now or something. <laughs> okay. I was like, all right, I'll try this. Nice. <laughs> that's brave. Yeah. That's like watching one of those ads on like Pornhub. It's like, <laughs> yeah, it was crazy. Want a bigger dick or whatever. Yeah, right. Yeah, you press on your like, like sure, right, I'll yeah, try it's it. right next to the dick pills. Yeah, 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 for sure. <laughs> Have you tried those? <laughs> I think I might have tried one, but it's I don't know. Didn't work. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard to tell if it works or not, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> With the impressive size that you're staring at, it's hard to tell if it added anything well, to it. Well, I mean, no, not that, like, just like your stamina or whatever, and yeah, your yeah. sex drive. You, <laughs> you can't picture, like, Tom Cruise or, you Tricking know, off. I'm trying to think of some badass that everyone likes. Um, you know, Sean Connery jerking off. You, you just know, can't. Reeves? Yeah, yeah. You can't picture him jerking off, you know. Because mm. it would just. It but looks, then you can't it, read a book by the cover. Maybe, you know, he's it a machine. Shitty. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. So is that so. so it's just not cool, you know? <laughs> jerking it's not off. cool to jerk off. It's just weird. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. It, feel, it does feel lame. Yeah, you don't feel cool doing it. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's just like instant regret. So subconsciously, you kind of hate yourself a little bit. After it happens, yes. Yeah. Definitely. <laughs> You're like, what have You're I like done? In the dark room. <laughs> what have I yourself? done? Yeah. <laughs> the worst part is you have to clean up a mess after. It's like, oh, well, this. I just rub it into my belly. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Moisturizer. It, this, I feel like this will be like, de demonetize it if you put this on YouTube now. <laughs> it is what it is. No fat. <laughs> the whole interview is about no fat. Yeah, that's what the whole interview is about. <laughs> we go into separate rooms. <laughs> Look. We come back. Yeah. Oh, we come back. Do you feel different? I do. I feel different. I, I'm not as confident. I can't finish this interview. Dude, I do. Dude, show me your cum. Dude, show me your cum. <laughs> Did you swallow it? I always swallow mine.
when you're at the absolute peak of your pranking days, you're mm -hmm. pranking, you're getting views. 2013, <coughs> 14. 2000, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I think I remember you saying you were getting like 10, around like 10 grand a month. Yeah. Right, so. Yeah, there was some months I wouldn't even post anything and 10 grand would still come in. So, yeah, I got into this mindset. It's like, oh shit, I'm gonna be rich forever, you know? That probably, uh, you know, <laughs> you're like, I don't have to put anything out. <laughs> I'll put Which, one video out every two months. This well, it's like, like it, it, I guess, you know, character, like Calvin <clears throat> and Hobbes, like, you go shovel the snow, you'll build character. Mm. I feel like my character went down over the last 10 years doing YouTube, and I'm, like, just now, like, building it and, like, learning the concept of hard work again. What do you mean but, by character, though? Because I still think that you have lots of character. Thanks, but, like, I guess I'm just trying to, like, get myself to be motivated again. I just used to have so much drive to make money, but I, like, I've been, I don't know, for some reason I, I just like, don't care. I don't know, I, it's, it's weird. Like for, I like, right now I've been like, paycheck to paycheck, like minimum, just putting in the minimum, minimum effort to like get by. But I used to be so motivated to like be like <laughs> super rich and stuff. Do you think that's and an I, age thing? Like, you're not saying, like, but well, I've heard it's like linked to testosterone. Hmm. Aging. Which is why, so you popped yeah. a couple of those before we did this. Well, I mean, it's... By the way, You can buy it at like any Walgreens. Every time we cut, he's popping another. T no, I'm not. <laughs> but no, yeah, you, you can buy them like at any like CVS or Walgreens. Hmm. They're, they're, it's just like, let's see, a bunch of vitamin D and I forgot like <clears> zinc <throat> and boron. <clears throat> and they're just like, you know, it's not real testosterone. But I, well, yeah. I, but I thought about doing that too, like the replacement thing. Yeah. But I don't know. Like almost it, like the same type of stuff. Like the real like If you're steroids. transitioning type of. Yeah, yeah. That kind of stuff. Yeah. yeah. Like the doctor approved. Or I mean, where you'd have to get a script for it. Right. Right. But I don't know. I just have to work out more. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. 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 Yeah. When you were at that peak, like making the most money you were, um, how was that affecting you off camera with ego wise and yeah, like did you did you noticeably feel like you were treating people different or treating your day to day life different with good this newfound money? Good question. Um, yeah, I think <clears throat> definitely you you start to feel naturally like subconsciously a little entitled. Um, you start to, I mean, and also people treat you different. People treat you differently because you're like, <laughs> Sorry, it's hot you shot. said people, I'm people. Sorry. People. People. <laughs> I mean, in a sense of, I, were you more arrogant or going out and being yeah, like, definitely. like the way you present yourself yeah, like, on the shit? Yeah, definitely. The first couple of years, I, I feel like I was, I thought I was the shit for sure. Right. Yeah. And looking back, does, does certain instances that like hit you, make you cringe? Like. Yeah, of course. And I, I remember <laughs> walking down the, like the hallways of my university and like pretending like this, this celebrity and just like, oh, stop staring at me. Like, I remember thinking that in my head, but yeah. And they actually were staring at you? No, you think that was in your it head? was all in my head. Really? Yeah. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> like thinking I was this big, I, I, I thought I, like everyone, you know, you figure, you, I just thought like everyone knew me by that point. So I was just <laughs> like, oh, like shady. Sure. I don't know. It's just thinking back, it's super cringy, but yeah. No, I mean like over, as I got older, I was like, all right, yeah. You start to learn like no one cares at all. Yeah. <laughs> and, and you also learn more and more that like, YouTube is so niche and mm. no one gives a fuck. Yeah. Like your audience is really just saturated from all over the globe and like, if you go outside, no one will know who I am, yeah. What's the what's the most amount of money you made from one video? Mm, 30 or 40 grand. In what span of time? Like a month, yeah. So, <clears throat> before I show this to you, I'm scared. So, <clears throat> when I was really getting into your vlogs, like, 
this this must I think this is like six years ago territory four years. Mm -hmm. This was an idea that I thought was really funny at the time. Okay. And in my like sixteen year old mindset, I'm like, this is the craziest shit that could happen. Mm -hmm. And so, so I I make this shirt uh -huh. and I'm like, I'm gonna send this to Andrew Hales and he's gonna be like, This is so funny. And it was in the moment at the time. Uh -huh. And you know, it was in the moment and I think it would have been really funny then. Okay. But I actually don't think it's very funny now. Okay. But I'm I wanna like please my sixteen year old brain. So I ordered this shirt that of a template that I made for you okay. at the time. And it was from one of your vlogs. God, I'm scared. So Oh, okay, so it's a picture. It's, it's a it's, it's a, a moment. It's a moment. Don't <laughs> Don't come in. Don't come in. Oh shit, my bad. Wow, Chad's going to get a kick out of that. <laughs> I got him one. Oh yeah? yeah Did yeah. you send it to him? I'll, I'm just going to give it to you and you can... Wow. And I, back in the day, I thought that was the funniest thing ever. Don't come in. Don't come in. <laughs> oh shit, my bad. <laughs> oh shit. Chad's with the girl. <laughs> Good times, man. Yeah, I, I thought I'd, I, I, for a time, for a few years, I thought I would never get married or have kids or anything like that. Mm -hmm. um, and I'd just be like George Clooney or whatever, you know? Like just a forever bachelor or oh, okay. Leonardo DiCaprio or whatever, you know? Yeah, yeah. But <laughs> That's like the meme, like you'll only see people of like a certain age and shit. <laughs> Yeah, he's not doing too well in the in the meme sphere. No, no. <laughs> there's so many memes of like there are people me are making him out to be this creep, but he's not doing anything illegal. No, no. But yeah, it is kind of strange. It just yeah. it's a strange coincidence yeah. that everyone's on your, yeah. Well, it's just a strange coincidence that you and Leo have so much in common. No, we don't. <laughs> Come on. I'm gonna hit you. Do you still feel like you want children? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, eventually. Mm -hmm. Like within a couple of years, yeah. Okay. The clock is ticking. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. Oh, yeah. Whoops. Super, super fan over here. Whoops. Only three or four hundred in the world. Yeah. It's oh, damn, you added the sales. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I really didn't. I didn't make more than 10, 20 grand from third in, yeah. Right. That's pretty good, though. That's not bad. Um, offbeat one. Would you eat Bonnie if you had to? No. No, I, I would starve. You mean like apocalypse stuff? Apocalypse. Yeah, no, I, I couldn't. Are you sure? I think so. I guess it's, it's imagine hard. Imagine the I most guess hungry it, you've been yeah, amplified. I guess you can imagine, so it's hard to tell if I was so hungry. And if she already died, then it'd be like, might as well eat her. <laughs> She's been rotting in the corn, and you're like, okay, I'll, now I'll eat her. <laughs> the weirdest is the edit that you did with uh, Johnny Depp in court. That was weird. That was the strangest video I've ever seen you do. <laughs> I, I, it was one of the only videos I couldn't finish. Yeah. I was like, what am I looking at? <laughs> there well, was like, it was like we Johnny just, Depp flying by in his own yeah. screen. Well, no, like I met this guy, he's a producer. Uh, he has like the whole setup and we just made this cool song and we're like, what? <laughs> What could go, go what could go viral and we like that the court the trial was going on, we we're like, what if we just make it some Johnny Depp thing? And so we just did that and I don't know. That was definitely in my <coughs> lost phase last year. It was strange. It was very strange. And the plot of was kind of very weird. Yeah. I think the, the Return of the King 2 could be really cool. Yeah. Well, it wouldn't be 2. It would be called, like, Awkward Goat Chronicles or something like that. Yeah. <laughs> something like, uh, like, 
it would just be it would be really simple and it would be like spread only through word of mouth you know yeah yeah it would be badass you know yeah it would be yeah <laughs> something like tin can you know yeah yeah <laughs> It has nothing has, has to nothing to do with it. Yeah. Like ice like cheesecake. <laughs> That's it, the title, cheesecake. Okay. Yeah. And then when you press like on you're like, holy shit. Like a skate video. Right. You know? Yeah. So it's like, okay. You don't want to give them too much. You don't want to be, like be like giving only, into it. It would be like only word of mouth, you know? Mm. Like, dude, you have to watch this. It's called just type in cheesecake. <laughs> You know, you have to think. But about. then they're gonna be like, you're gonna see some two girls, one cup shit, and then you just open a video called Cheesecake and it's you pranking people. If someone's hyping Wait, it up, what? <laughs> what are you talking about? If you expected that, you type in Cheesecake Loft, or yeah, I guess. Do you know what I mean? If you're hyping up something, like, dude, you have to watch Cheesecake. Right. It would have to be a little more specific. Yeah. You, yeah. Something, something like Cheesecake Mountain. Because if if my. <laughs> that would be the first result. If they type in Cheesecake Mountain and it's an awesome prank video, then that would be the first result for sure. But is it going to live up to the hype? Like if, of, of yeah, Cheesecake well, Mountain? Hopefully, yeah. If you, <laughs> of the hype. That's the point. It's, there is no hype. Cheesecake but it, Mountain? But, okay. it's, just, it's just cringy to title something like Super Funny Awkward Guy Does crazy stunt in public like that's so generic and shitty yeah 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 i know what you mean yeah yeah <laughs> um <clears throat> so you and you and chad and that whole group you guys you guys knew oliver tree before he was famous right yeah i mean mostly chad um but you met him. You have you have like videos. Yeah, with him, yeah, right? yeah, definitely. I, we uh, Carly and I went to his concert when he came to Nashville last year. Okay. And we went backstage and hung out with him and stuff. You know, I was like, "Holy shit, dude! I'm so proud of you and stuff." <laughs> but I'll what give it my all. No, 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 no. We we all smoked too much weed. We were, I don't smoke. It was I never just, smoked. I was, I've been sober since I was 15. Okay. <laughs> yeah, because you guys have there was a video that Chad and him did a while ago. It was on your roof or something. Yeah, yeah. Right? With the half pipe and stuff. Yeah, something. Yeah, yeah. It was kind of like when, uh, like, Bella started entering the uh, videos the sphere, and stuff. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Which she's just like in all of them now. Yeah, kinda well, like yeah. The she, she's like a millionaire now, too. Well, yeah, because she does OnlyFans. Mm hmm. Yeah. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Little pause there. <laughs> I took a massive shit today. It was like this big. Did it fit down the pipe? It was literally, no. Luckily, it wasn't my own toilet. It was a Starbucks. <laughs> but I tried, I flushed it. I was like, didn't think so. And I just, and I ran out of there and got to you guys, yeah. It was like. Do you think that Starbucks probably, will recover? It was probably over five pounds of shit. Okay. Three days worth of shit. Mm. <laughs> oh no even more mm -hmm. is it was so hard that I had to squat and I shit on the floor in the bathroom I took those like baby things whatever and I put them on the floor and I and I'm like squatted like a frog and I shit on those and then I picked it up and put it in the toilet so that's crazy Actually. Yes, that actually happened today. You squatted on the floor. <laughs> you know, like the squatty potty? Yes. Yeah, it helps you, you know, because you have to get your posture right, and it helps you, you know. But just right onto the floor. Yeah, like I was camping, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> camping in a Starbucks washroom. And I... Yeah, and it was so big, and I picked it up, and I threw it in the toilet, and I washed my hands real good, but I was just like, I can't believe that happened, <laughs> because the kratom... I can't tell if you're being serious. I am being serious. The kratom, it, it shuts down your, your gut, so you don't digest much, but, so then, it, but then it finally has to come out at one point, like three or four days, and then it all just came out there. 
What do you do if you're at home? The same thing? Shit on the floor? Same thing. Better have a plunger. No. <laughs> that was the first time <laughs> I did it on the floor because I knew it would be easier. But yeah, it was crazy. I locked the door. It was, yeah, I was scared. <laughs> I was scared because it hurts. It feels like you're having a baby, you know? And I was like, oh shit. And that's how Elvis died. Did you know that? From shitting? Yeah. I thought he overdosed. Maybe I'm getting Johnny well, Cash mixed up. Sort of. He was on so many painkillers that he was constipated and he was on the toilet. And that's where he had his heart attack. Did you to... feel like Elvis when you were doing this? <laughs> I don't know, but it was, I was scared. I'm always <laughs> scared when it finally happens. And it just so happened to happen right before meeting you. So I had to pull off to <laughs> go to Starbucks. That's why you were like 15 minutes late. I was supposed to be there at 3.05. You just told me you took a shit. <laughs> yeah. It was scary. It was scary. I, you might have never heard from me for another few hours and then like got a call from someone finally saying I died. In the washer at Starbucks. In the, yeah. On the way to meet someone with 50 followers. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Damn. Yeah. <laughs> what? It what, was scary. What would you have done if it wasn't solid? Uh, and there just wasn't enough paper towel I to was pick like, it up? I was thinking about that, but no, you can definitely like tell. You can feel <laughs> it. You can feel how hard of a brick it is in there in you, you know? <laughs> yeah, maybe that, maybe I shouldn't have said that. I'm Andrew Hales and I'm a little bitch. My work ethic is pathetic. Better upload something real quick. Monotone, ramen noodle hair freak. Habitual, pill popping junkie. No job, no degree, no money. And a ring to my audience like a pussy.